Dear students, in this session, we are going to discuss about comparison of performances of various optical amplifiers. Let us see. Here we are going to compare erbium fiber, Raman fiber and Brillouin fiber with the laser. So, you know that a, a section of erbium fiber and Raman fiber and uh, act as amplifiers and also we are comparing it with Brillouin and a laser and here we are comparing 11 different properties of these amplifiers let us see first property is unsaturated device gain and when we are comparing it you can see that in the case of laser the gain will be greater than 20 db and for the erbium fiber it is greater than 20 db and for Raman fiber, it is somewhat between 5 dB and 15 dB. And in the case of Brillouin fiber, it is greater than 25 dB. So, the maximum gain is provided by the Brillouin fiber. And when we are comparing optical pump powers, basically it is not applicable to laser diodes. And there is no limited value for that because it is a source. And erbium power, in the case of erbium fiber, sorry, it is written as power, it is fiber, erbium fiber. In the case of erbium fiber, the pump power it required, you know that it requires different pump signals of different wavelength such as 980 nanometer, 1400, 1500 nanometer, etc. So, the erbium fiber case, the pump power will be in 20 milliwatt to 50 milliwatt. And in the case of Raman amplifier, and here the basic principle in the case of Raman um, amplifier is that uh, here um, the amplification takes place due to scattering process and for that scattering um, for this stock shift to occur uh, it need higher pump power and uh, higher pump pulse so its power will be higher so it is in between 100 milliwatt to 200 milliwatt and in the case of Brillouin fiber it is less than 10 milliwatt so Raman fiber needs a higher pump power that means it re requires um, higher pump pulses and next we are going to compare optical pump wavelength and usually here um, in the case of laser there is no need of an optical pump so it is not applicable for that laser and in the case of erbium fiber uh, that is in the case of erbium amplifier optical pump wavelength is 820 nanometer 980 nanometer 1400 nanometer and 1500 nanometer that means it different it requires different pump uh, pump uh, signals of different wavelength and in the case of raman uh, fiber um, we cannot say uh, such pump wavelength because in that case uh, basically the amplification occur due to the um, uh, phenomena of scattering uh, so uh, it is purely depends upon the stock shift uh, but uh, you can say one thing that the stock shift should be below the applied signal okay and in the case of brillouin fiber also uh, stock shift should be below the signal level and in the case of external bias current when we are comparing the bias current uh, for the laser case is 50 milliwatt milliampere and for the erbium fiber it is, will be greater than 100 milliampere and for raman fiber it is 500 milliampere see here the pump um, is, power is higher so corresponding wavelength will be higher that is why it is greater than 500 milliampere pump current external bias current is greater than 500 milliampere in the case of brillouin fiber it is less than 50 milliampere and uh, corresponding to the wavelength of operation uh, laser uh, in the case of laser uh, wavelength there, there, there will be any wavelength and in the case of erbium fiber the wavelength of operation that is emitted light will have a wavelength ranges from 1525 nanometer to 1560 nanometer and in the case of raman fiber it is uh, will produce uh, any wavelength that depends upon the scattering process and it also depends upon the stock shift uh, and also it, uh, there will be any wavelength that is subjected to pump any sub, um, similarly in the case of brillouin fiber also uh, the wavelength of operation should be uh, any wavelength it can operate in any wavelength that is subjected to the pump signal next is the bandwidth and in the case of laser bandwidth is 20 nanometer to 50 nanometer and uh, and for the erbium fiber the wavelength is uh, 20, 10 nanometer to 40 nanometer in the case of raman uh, fiber it is uh, 20 nanometer um, uh, to 40 nanometer 
and in the case of brillo and fiber the bandwidth is 0.001 nanometer that is its bandwidth is lesser but its gain is higher in the case of brillo and fiber it provides maximum gain but it provides uh, bandwidth is less that is 0.001 nanometer and if you are going to the coupling losses in the case of coupling losses 5 db to 6 db when we are coupling the laser with the fiber uh, the coupling loss is 5 db to 6 db and in, if we are coupling erbium fiber um, with the original silica fiber the coupling loss is 1 db uh, and uh, these are typical values because for raman fiber and brilliant fiber the coupling loss is same that is less than 1 db and we, when we are going to the polarization sensitivity the in the case of laser it is less than uh, few db but uh, erbium fiber uh, raman fiber and brilliant fiber are polarization insensitive so um, the corresponding values will be 0 db for all the three cases and the if you are going to the saturated output in the case of laser uh, saturated output will be less than a few milliwatt and for the erbium fiber also uh, saturated output will be few milliwatt and in the case of Raman fiber, um, uh, it will be limited by the pump power and also for the brilliant fiber, it will be limited by the pump power. And uh, for the directions, the laser can be operated in bidirectional and the erbium fiber and the Raman fiber are uh, bidirectional and brilliant fiber is unidirectional. And uh, the noise in the case of laser is very low and for the erbium um, fiber, the noise is very low. Mm, low, and the Raman fiber also noise is very low. Uh, similarly, for the brillouin fiber, noise is very low. So, Raman fiber and brillouin fiber noise will be very low comparing to the erbium fiber and laser. Uh, this is the performance compar um, comparison. And from the comparison, you can conclude that brillouin fiber provides a higher gain that is above 25 dB. Mm, uh, and uh, but it, uh, its wavelength or bandwidth will be um, lesser. Uh, and uh, in the case of Raman fiber also, uh, the gain is 5 dB to 15 dB which is lesser than that of the erbium fiber. The erbium fiber will uh, provide a higher gain that is greater than 20 dB and uh, we have uh, explained the videos of erbium doped fiber amplifier. Its gain is up to 30 dB that is it is greater than 20 dB. That's all about this performance comparison. Thank you.